Please welcome Michael K. Williams. Thanks for being here. A lot of people here are very excited that you're here. Huge fans in this building. Wow. Obviously, everybody knows you as Omar. Omar from The Wire, Chalky White from Boardwalk Empire. But you got so much else going on right now. You got the new show Black Market. You're in the night of. Uh, let's see. You got. Uh, you're in the new Ghostbusters movie this Friday. You're in. You're in Assassin's Creed coming this December. What? Where, you, what? I also you, work part time in accounting in HBO. I, oh. I do a little, uh, mm -hmm. do some promotion for them. I just, you know, I do it all. You're the biz you're, you're one of the busiest guests I've ever had on here. <laughs> I try, man. You know, I just, you know, I've been blessed. I've been blessed, you know, so, uh, you know, you gotta strike it while it's hot, so. Was, did, playing Omar, is, you were sort of, uh, you know, for a lot of people, the breakout character of what was already a tremendous show. Did that change your life, playing Omar? Yeah, it did. It, it, you know, put me on the radar a little bit. Uh, you know, um, it. It was my breakout role, basically. It definitely changed my life, but on a personal level, it uh, kind of grew me up. You know, uh, I, I equate my years with uh, the cast and the times on the wire like my college years. I learned really the, the, the business from, you know, financially, how to, how to manage my money better, how to, you know, how to ride a character out for, uh, 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 you know, a period of time. Mm -hmm. Normally, you know, it would just, you know, be, you know, in and out guest appearance here, you know, back to the drawing board. So, but Omar, I got all this... These, these, you know, for you know, five years to build and to you got to develop the character yeah, the man. entire time. Yeah, I learned that. Was it hard to let him go when that was over? Man, it, I, I, um, yeah. If anybody knows my story, I had a little bit of a, I had a break, man. You know, um, before, you know, up until the the wire, you know, I was just you know regular kid off the streets and and. Um, were you a performer before that? Yeah, you know, background dancing and doing my little stuff. You know, background you know, dancer. Who are yeah, you background dancing for? I background dance for Crystal Waters, Technotronics, uh, Genuine, <laughs> Missy Elliott. Uh, <laughs> just to name a few, yeah, I used to boogie back in the day. But you know, um, um, you know, here I get Mr. You know, I, oh, the, the character of Omar thrusted me into the limelight, and uh, you know, I, I was uh, had a very low self esteem growing up. You know, high need to be accepted. You know, I was, corny, I was a corny kid, you know, in the projects. And, and uh, so all of a sudden, you know, Omar got, you know, I'm like, you know, yo, getting the respect, <laughs> you know, from, from people that would have probably, you know, took my lunch money as a kid. <laughs> so it kind of. Did you start like, to act uh, like Omar? Did you want to you know, be Omar in any way? You know, I, I knew I couldn't be Omar. I didn't have the balls. That, 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 dude, that dude had, you know, the. But, you know, I just, I wore that. You know, I, you know, you got seven out of ten people calling you Omar with all this like admiration. Like the like lines got. On the street were calling yeah, you, Omar? you know, I, the lines got blurred for me. The lines of reality got blurred. I know I the feeling. Was, people call me Stephen Colbert all the time. All the time, you know. That's the character I played. I, mean, I want to be Stephen yeah, Colbert. Yeah, you know? yeah I kind of want to be Omar. I'd like to have those kind of balls. <laughs>